Oh man, you know what time it is. All right, y'all, Keith Dykes here with WKD Construction, and today we are installing the three inch thick white oak stair treads that we made for the floating stair strainers. And if you have not seen the previous two videos, the first one being stair stringer, second one was making the stair treads, I'll put a link up in here and uh, you need to check those out. Check those out before you watch this video. Today is the day we're gonna mount the stair treads and the platform to the metal stringers that we installed last week and they are beautiful. Look at that, man. Turned out. I'm tickled with it, man. It, it's gonna look, it's gonna look badass. Look at that. Look at that thing, shoot. Well, we have holes that are pre-drilled into our metal plates. So Steve is outside. I had some, uh, I did use some uh, structural screws. I wanted the washer head structure, structural screws and all I could find were two and seven eighths. So he's actually cutting them down to two and a half inches. That way, my, my well, my treads are three inches, so I didn't want to be that close to the surface, so we're cutting them down uh, <clears throat> roughly, what, three-eighths of an inch so we don't have any issue with the screw trying to protrude and come out the top of the tread. So once we get these mounted, I'll have Jay come back, the, the, man, the, man, of the man of the hour, Jay, that built all, this, uh, all the stair stringers. He'll come back, we'll figure out where we want our post everywhere that way he can get them made and we're going to use a uh cable railing cable type railing system so then we'll figure out the pitch of the wire and all that and the handrail we're going to use a white oak rail cap so we'll have cable railings white oak rail cap and the metal post All right, so we've got it setting there and we actually made a little lip right here to allow for the quarter inch plate thickness and it actually really worked. I was worried we was gonna have to notch it right there, but man, you can barely slide a piece of paper underneath it. So we'll get this even where we need to be. Probably put some treads on there just to kind of see, see what we need and, this, and the starting point down there to make sure our, everything's gonna be on plane. But it does look good, it looks pretty cool. And actually we need to put a tread here and a tread there to make sure that we got everything lined up this way and up the edge as well. So Jay made these 24. These are 36, roughly. So we're just gonna center them up on the uh, plates here. Let's see if we can get there. And I come my way about a bolt for the seven eighths here. Mm -hmm. Go six shot. Just tap, tighten. there you go. There. Really close there. I guess we need to set the bottom one and then right. and then laser up. That's what we'll do. We'll set the bottom one, put the laser on here, and that way we can get this dead dead dick. Yeah, 
much. So we got this one set up pretty square, fairly square. Uh, got the laser there, pointed to there, and then we know it's in line here. And then we'll true, we'll get this one true up too, that way it's all in line. I'll take the pipe on here, line it up. stairs being plain. So if we take our level, put it on there. We can then we got this starting point, we have that bottom starting point, and then we'll just pull these treads to where they butt the level and then we'll know exactly that everything is super straight. So you can see underside we have pre-drilled holes. All the way down through there so i think there's 10 screws on the platform and we are going to use like i said we cut down some structural heavy screws i wanted the big washer head that way we didn't have to use a washer and it'll be flat so we're going to use these we'll pre-drill pre-drill in through there and then screw them up into it issue when we built the platform we've got two befores in there to get the thickness well I didn't I did not even think about the uh, holes lining up with the holes so those structural screws it's got a shoulder on them so it's going a little too deep and it's just hitting the plywood that we got in there I've got uh, what is that that's just half inch plywood so yeah so we're gonna have to do something else with a different screw, something that doesn't, that's got a, a shoulder all the way up. So these will be, treads will be fine. They're solid all the way. So that won't be an issue for the platform, which when we put 10 or 12 screws in it, it's going to hold it anyway. It's it, cause this is pretty dang heavy. Any, anyhow on it's by its own, but son of a. All right, so I had Steve cut some earlier. This is a full one. This is two and seven eighths. Mm -hmm. Two and seven eighths. So you can see what we have. So maybe I'm gonna try the full screw. Maybe this will get into the oak part. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna check it out. See what it does. That's what we'll do. <laughs> Never mind, we got a coach. I'm gonna check this for time and get this 
changing it up we're gonna to have to do we had to put another hole i'm gonna drill another hole in the center that way it's a little rocky so we're gonna center the it's got a little give so when it's giving it's flexing and making that center part just kind of make a little noise so we'll drill a hole in the middle bolt it up and it and, and it fixed it right up Having, we've been having issues <laughs> trying to get a game plan together. So we're going to take a drill bit that's 5 16 to the exact same size of the hole, uh, which is that. It's got a little point on it, so it kind of self center And the problem we're having is that the hole's not perfect, man. It's got a little, see that little tiny shoulder? As we get it right, it's going up and then freaking just pulling it to one layer or another. So. Some of them we kind of had to grind that little video shoulder off, but now I think hopefully we got a game plan going. All right, so I have this big Simpson washer head bolt. It's kind of got me uh, pushed out. My tread needs to go over maybe three eighths of an inch to get my, when I plane out to the top of the floor up here, I need to scoot that tread back just a little bit. So I think I'm gonna take the Forstner bit and bump it in there and then just kind of recess the back of that tread out and we can push it a little closer and get this in line. All right, so I set the tread on here, mark these bolt heads, took the Forstner bit, just kind of recessed it barely. It's not much, just enough to get it back about an eighth, maybe three sixteenths, something like that.
Yes, sir. Dude. Dude. We got, I ain't talking to you. When well, you said dude. <laughs> That's Jay, my electrician. He's old. He, he's senile and stuff. But, uh, man, we got the stair treads on and it looks freaking badass. I'm, I'm very tickled with it. It's, it turned out really well. I, I, all the treads, the way we had to put them together and the uh, uh, platform and stuff, man, it really, I'll give you, I'll give you a little sneak peek. And the stain and all the colors, dude, amazing. Not very nice. Give yourselves up very nice. So I'll give you a little peek underneath it as well. You can see all of our structural screws. So once we really found a method, <laughs> which sometimes, you know, I usually don't do two things twice. I usually do one of everything, you know, one about of one, oh my goodness, holy crap. I usually don't do things twice in a row, you know, like I'm, I do custom houses. I only usually do one custom house, you know, I don't, I don't build the same one over and over. It's usually just one time, so I'm always on something new. So like this, you gotta figure it out. You gotta figure out what you, you need to do. Find a uh, find a uh, thing that works for you and put it together, so. So yeah, definitely looks cool, man. Really, really happy with the way it turned out. My guy Jay did a bang up job. Excellent, excellent. I'm gonna get Jay over here. Well, like I said earlier, we are going to find where all the posts go and what length, all that good stuff for the handrail and such. He'll get those made, powder coated, we'll bring them over and then we'll do a part three for cable handrail installation on the floating stair stringers here in the pool house. So once again, I'm Keith Dykes. This is the pool house. Thanks for watching and oh yeah, we got it coach.